Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here and welcome to another review of the Boruto anime. We're covering episode 210 in today's review. And this episode involves Konohamaru and Sai going on a mission to investigate Boro's cult. So how is the episode overall? Well, before I get into that, if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It would be pretty awesome if you did that. Alrighty, let's get on to the review, shall we? Now, before I begin the episode 210 review, I want to talk about episode 209 really briefly here because I didn't make a video on it last week. I didn't really think the episode really needed a full-on episode review, so I skipped it. And I'm probably going to do that for future anime original episodes in the future. Though this episode did have some interesting things in it. I like the fact that Kawaki and his fear of Jigen is shown off in this episode. He realizes that he needs to protect the ones he loves, so he tries to leave the village. Before that, he and Himawari have a little bit of bonding, which they meet a wolf. And this wolf is very similar to Kwaki, is ostracized from his clan, and eventually goes off and dies. And Kwaki thinks the same, and he thinks he needs to do the same thing, so he decides to leave the village. You know, go off and get captured by a car on his own. Because Jigen can just follow him wherever he can go, and he doesn't want Naruto or his family to be harmed in any way. So, I like that stuff, but overall... The episode was kind of decent. It was alright. It was probably like a 6 out of 10 episode. But overall, you know, I like the stuff with Kawaki and the symbolism there. But it was just an alright episode. Didn't really need a full on review. So yeah, 6 out of 10 episode. Anyways, let's move on with episode 210. Now, while the majority of this episode is anime canon or just anime original content... There was a little bit of manga content at the beginning of this episode, with Code looking over the ten tails. And they added some stuff here that I'm not really sure how I feel about right now, because uh, Jigen moved the coordinates for the ten tails location so Konoha can't pursue it, go after it. He doesn't know how they figured it out at the moment, or so he says. <laughs> but anyways, Code gets his mission, but they're wondering, they can't get in contact with Boro. Maybe something happened, maybe something happened to him maybe Sasuke Uchiha had something to do with it and that's when Delta shows up and says yeah Boro's dead and the Hokage has escaped or has been rescued and it seems like somebody did this besides Sasuke somebody even stronger hmm not sure how I feel about that but anyways yeah so uh Jigen and Kodo are now aware that Boro is dead whereas in the manga neither of them are aware of this Jigen just saying I lost contact with Boro just you know Stay alert, Code. Maybe Sasuke Uchiha might show up and try to attack you, so be careful. But here the anime changes it, so they're both aware that Boro is in fact dead. It's Delta, the one that did some investigating and figured it out. So interesting. But anyways, um, moving on. Anyways, for the bulk of this episode, it revolves around Konohamaru and Sai on a mission to investigate Boro's cult. So they head out there, they're undercover, and they manage to get in, and... As we learn pretty quickly, everybody here is basically deceived by Boro. It, but there's a girl named Akiri who's been here for a little bit, and Boro saved her and her brother. Her parents are gone. But apparently her brother's been on a mission for over three years, and he hasn't come back, and she's very worried. She doesn't want to really think about it, but she just has this uneasy feeling that he's never going to come back. But she just doesn't know why. But every time she asks about him, it's so, oh, hey, his service has been extended. Now eventually, Konohamaru and Sai talk to one of the, I guess you can call him one of the high priests in the cult, informs him that Boro might be dead. It's a rumor that was started by some leaf shinobi. So, uh, yeah. Just, just want to let you know that, uh, he might be dead. And this guy's kind of freaking out, so he goes into this hidden room and tries to contact Boro. And that's when Konohamaru and Sai show up, and they, uh, yeah, they reveal themselves as Leaf Shinobi. And, uh, yeah. Seems like this guy is hiding some stuff. It looks like there's a scientific ninja tool back here that's used to communicate with, uh, Boro here. There's a transportation device somewhere around here that Konohamaru and Sai have been looking for. And there's a bunch of secrets in this room. And this guy literally throws a jar at Konohamaru that seems to contain Boro's viruses. Also, Sai pulls this book and there's some interesting information in it, which we'll learn about in just a minute. And thanks to Mitsuki, Konohamaru is not affected by the viruses that were thrown at him. And this high priest dude, he's kind of uh, freaking out over here. He's being questioned, and that's when all the followers show up. And they all get exposed. 
And Conan Harmer tries to expose Boro and his cult. And Sai even shows off that book showing off a lot of the people that were used as experiments for Kara. And it turns out that Akira's brother was an experiment and he's been dead for a little while now. And yeah, this is actually absolutely devastating to her because that's her only family. And now that she's learning that her only family member is dead now, yeah, she's... Yeah, that's it's all oh, it's absolutely awful. But as Boro and his cult are being exposed, Delta shows up in the transportation device and starts destroying the cult. It seems like she's there to clean it up. Because Boro's gone, there's no need for this cult anymore. So she starts destroying it. And uh, yeah, that high priest dude that we saw a little bit ago, yeah, he immediately gets crushed. Like he, They just immediately take him out, which I, I don't know, I thought that was kind of funny. Kind of morbid, but funny at the same time. Anyways, um... They're trying to get everybody out, and um, in Neri, that blue-haired girl that was one of Boro's assistants, she appeared a couple episodes back. Yeah, she refuses to go, along with this other guy that was actually showing, you know, telling Konama and the others that no, Boro indeed saved us. You know, you guys are lying. Boro, even though he, even though he may have actually done some, maybe some bad things, he truly desired to save us. And they essentially just choose death over going with Konohamaru and being saved. Because they think that Boro is going to come and save them. But instead, they get obliterated by Delta and her laser beams that basically destroy you on a cellular level. So they're all completely destroyed right in front of Konohamaru. And yeah, this is pre pretty much a tragic ending for this cult. Yeah, and that's pretty much the results of their mission. They actually found this book. And until Jigen and Kara are destroyed, the world will not know peace. So that's pretty much where the episode comes to an end, on a pretty somber note. Now, while there wasn't a whole lot of action in today's episode, I enjoyed it quite a lot, and I like what the anime has done with Boro and his cult. Now, while Boro isn't exactly a great character, I like what they did with his cult. And it reflects a lot of real-life cults, whereas people are preyed upon, they're brought into the cult, and sometimes they're used in experiments for the cult, and they might even die for the cult. Like in this episode where Neri and her group basically said, Boro's going to come save us. We don't need you guys. He experienced the infinite Tsukiyomi. He knows it's wonders. So we're just going to wait for him to save him. And they literally chose to just die instead of being saved by Konohama right there. He, had a, he reached out to them. He wanted to save them. And yet they chose death because all they knew was Boro and his teachings. It's sad, but, you know, it happens. And I just like what the anime did here. I think they did a fantastic job handling Boro and his cult. At least the cult aspect, I should say. Like I said, Boro isn't exactly a great character. And I think he could have been written better. But besides that, you know, I think everything in this episode was done pretty well. Alrighty, guys, that's pretty much all I got for today's episode review. So overall, I thought this was a pretty solid episode. It gets an 8 out of 10 for me. And, yeah, we got one more anime original episode until we move on to manga content again. So, guys, in the comment section down below, what do you think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What do you think about Boro and his cult? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.